I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. I thought we could catch up. Of course. I hear you have family in Ferelden. Yes, my mother and father. I insisted they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Ambassador Montelier tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they'd be proud of me. But after Haven, I, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. It's just, I just want them to be safe. And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. They say you grew up in a village. Where did you learn to fight, draw a bow, all that? Here and there. You pick things up as a little dwarf girl in a village filled with piggish Ferelden boys. I'm no artist with a blade. I just know what hurts and what takes them down quick. Bruised a shin or two in my day, and a few, you know, other things. <laughs> and archery? Oh, there was a traveling hunter who set me up with my first bow and taught me the basics. After that, I practiced on my own. <laughs> And squirrels mostly. Oh, and Heinrich from next door, but only with padded arrows. Have you spoken to Kenrick much? A bit. He's quite nice, isn't he? And clever. Really loves his books. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. I <laughs> can't stop doing it now. <laughs> it's too funny. How do you like the Frostback Basin? It's lovely, isn't it? At least until you step in a pile of bogfisher poo. The stuff's vile. It makes great fuel for starting fires, though. If you can tolerate the smell. I might suggest that to the commander. It could be great for sieges. That is a brilliant idea. I'll endorse it. Wonderful. I'll write it up as soon as I get back to Skyhold. What do you think about the Avar? When I was a little girl, a lady in our village used to tell me Avar tales. Being able to see their lives up close, it's nothing like I thought. They're very tall, aren't they? I was considering a proposal for Commander Cullen. Avar allies with dwarven archers astride their shoulders. I like the way she thinks. We should keep her around. For me. Yes! Mayhem! All right. Get it out of your system. Mayhem! Mayhem! It's funny how a word loses its meaning when you say it enough times. What are your thoughts about our progress against Corythius? The commander thinks we're as ready as we'll ever be. And that we should strike soon. I don't know what's gonna happen after. One step at a time. That's the only way to take this. We'll continue this another time. Goodbye, then. Have you seen the plans for the new camps? Tree houses. It all sounds awful and precarious. Don't you like the idea of the tree houses? It's a good idea, in theory. Up where the wild animals can't get us. But having solid ground so far, far below me with nothing but air in between us is just... Who would have thought? Scout Harding, afraid of heights. Me? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not afraid. Who's afraid? No one's afraid. I love being up high. Lovely views, fresh air, birds flying at my head. Uh, yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable with heights. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs>